Hello, good morning. Welcome to Vlog Sember. How you guys doing today? We're gonna be doing a get ready with me to go to work. I am wearing my contacts today, with this, which is a surprise. But I usually don't wear contacts to work. I wear my my glasses. But today I decided to wear my contacts because I'm gonna be trying a new eyeshadow palette, a new face palette that I'm very excited to try. I've had it for a while and haven't been able to try it. But before we do that, if you saw my declutter videos my last two declutter videos or three i lost count already <laughs> uh there were some things left on my vanity that were supposed to go in a drawer but i didn't find it in the moment that i was filming so one of them is the um, chanel sublimage concealer i've had that on my vanity so that goes into my foundation and concealer drawer and then we have the my dream cheek trio from natasha natasha denona it's a beautiful beautiful gorgeous I love this collection. My dream collection is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorites, of 2022. Like I love it. It's beautiful. That goes into my uh, blush and highlighters. Well, I have, yeah, blush and highlighters go together in my drawers. I also have this highlighter from Chanel, which uh, I had it on my vanity. One of my last purchases from Chanel. That goes into my highlighter. And the face palette that I couldn't find from Charlotte Tilbury, which I love, love, love. I've used it many, 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 many times. This also goes, this is going to go where my bronzers go. Because I have more space there. And it's a big palette. I also had this powder. Somehow I had it with my eyeshadows from Dior. So that goes into my powder. Alright, so let's start. I'm going to first pick up my hair. I'm going to be using mostly new makeup today, at least new to me. I'm going to start with my moisturizer. This is Daniel. I showed this in my declutter videos. The Bobbi Brown Rich, Enrich, Vitamin Rich Face Base, which is lovely. I have some left, so I want to finish this off. And I have to go buy it back up. My skin is really dry, so I need that extra hydration. And it has almost no drying down time like it dries really fast it's absorbed really quickly by the skin it's just something that came to my mind that um since i started being more active in my blog my website i have a new i have two new posts every week that's the plan i've been doing that for like the last month and it's going really well for me um at least like i could keep up with the schedule um i realize when i'm writing and i do this when i'm talking to that i always talk like in the uh, what is that they call it in the um, passive voice? Because like, instead of saying my skin absorbed the moisturizer, I always say like the moisturizer was absorbed by the skin. Like I talk in the passive voice and I didn't realize until uh, when I'm writing, like I would realize that I use it a lot. I don't know, it's just something that I just thought of. For my face, this is not new to me, but I haven't used it. I've used it a lot, but I haven't picked it up like in the last week or so. And I don't think I've used it in this month in December. I'm going to be using the Patrick Ta, the Duo. This palette, or this um, product, got like a lot of mixed mixed um, emotions. Like some people hated it. Some people did not hate it. Like I didn't hate it. I, I love it. And you could see that it has... Let me see the mirror. Okay. It has um, a dent in the product. Like I've used it a lot. I don't know if you could tell you see like the powder i don't use that much because i don't use powder much anyways because i have dry skin but the foundation part i love it i think it's really creamy and it melts right into my skin like i love it and it gives me the coverage that i like mine is in the shade fair number four so i'm just gonna um, apply now all over the skin the complexion products that i'm using today at least the foundation and the concealer are not new but the rest, most of the rest is, if not everything else, almost everything is. Some makeup that I've been putting aside and not used. Maybe it's not hygienic, as hygienic as other products because you have to be dipping back in into the, into the pan. But if you use it before, what is it, six months shelf life? The shelf life of this product is 12 months. I don't think I'm going to make it to 12 months because I use it a lot. All right, I like it. I personally like this foundation, and I'm sorry for those that like it didn't work for them. Another one that didn't work for a lot of people was the what the foundation from Jones Road. Some people didn't like that foundation. I like it. I have it. I might use it soon to show you guys here in Black Samper, but it works fine with me. 
for me. I'm going to be using my Dior Skin Forever. I do have dark circles and I need coverage. My favorite concealer of all times. I'm going to use today the um, Hourglass Concealer Brush. Actually, I'm going to start with my finger and then I'll end it up with a brush. It's such a pretty concealer. Like It gives me coverage. It's creamy. It doesn't um, accentuate my fine lines. And get some and put it on the lid. See how nice it is? I'm putting a mental list and also I have to write it down. I have to go through my collection and figure out my favorite products of 2022. This concealer is not going to be my favorite of 2022 because I've been using it for a few years. But there's so many good products that were launched this year that's going to be very hard. Okay, for powder... um. Like I said, I don't use powder because of my dry skin. I have this uh, palette from Mop Beauty that I put on, I put together last night. Actually, it comes every separate, and you have to put it in like a puzzle. It was actually fun because I like puzzles, and everything is like the, the packaging is all recyclable, and I just stuck my finger into the to the matte shade. Anyways, um, the blush is like a cream blush, so I I was actually debating whether using that. Or the one from Patrick Ta that I haven't used yet. I only got some for swatching. And it's more like a peachy color. Um, but I think I'm going to stick for the... I'm going to stick into the Mob Beauty. Just to try everything out. I'm going to try all the shades in this palette. And I don't have a bronzer or a new bronzer. I'm going to be using today the Victoria Beckham. So I'm going to... Oh, mine is in shade 1. The lightest of the bunch. I think she came out with like 6. I'm just going to uh, put a little bit here using the Sony G... Niji Pro. Niji Pro, yeah. Apply some here. I don't contour, I just apply some color. It's such a beautiful bronzer. Take it down to the neck. Just give me the impression that I am a little bit tanned, which I'm not. I'm very pale. I like to mix them together. Go like that. Swirl it together. Get a little bit more and apply it on the forehead. Just a little bit of color. You could go more more deeper you could go more in, like um apply more more intense it's up to you i like it just like that all right so let's go into eyes i don't know how powdery these products are so i'm gonna leave the highlighter and the blush for later i'm going to pick up a fluffy brush i'm gonna pick this one up from refer beauty number zero one and i'm gonna start with i'm gonna tell you exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this in the crease i'm gonna add this on the side on the side on the outer half then go in this with the inner half and add some sparkle on the top this is going to be my blush and my highlighter i'm going to do all of it and let me do some swatching in the back of my hand this is my first time using this brand i saw of course i see most of it in her channel michelle wong because she's like one of my favorite youtubers and i trust i trust her when she does a review look how pretty that pink shimmer is it's like a corally peach pink beautiful i do trust when she recommends something and we kind of have like the same taste we like like light coverage and all that and she recommended my beauty and these palettes so i had to try it so i'm gonna get some of that light brownish and it is powdery on the pan but let's see on on the face yeah it's a little bit powdery let's go right here i haven't thought of the question of the day i have it well, let me take that back i have thought about it but I don't remember it because I have it written down in my phone. Um, and I don't want to look right now. So I'm going to put everything like always in the description box. If you want to participate in today's giveaway. Today is number 8 or 9. I can't recall. But um, probably 9. Or 8. Whatever. <laughs> and whatever day it is. Um, we still have some days left for the giveaway. So make sure you participate. I'm going to pick my winners on day 14 to give everybody more time to watch the video. So it's really pretty, like really soft. This is like a nice palette so far. It looks like it's like a nice palette for work, which is where I'm going now. I'm going to get a, a more dense brush because now I'm going to pick up the matte side, the matte shade. I'm going to get this from Sonia, from Sonia, um, BK Beauty with a collaboration with Angie Hot and Flashy, the A501. I'm gonna pick up that matte that I showed you guys. This is it's fluffy but it's still dense. And I'm gonna go out in in case there's any fallout. At least minimize the consequences. 
it's, a, it's really light actually I thought it was gonna be like more darker more darker I thought it was gonna be darker these are the things that you learn when you're writing more that the things that you say are not grammatically correct so it's good even if you don't have a blog to practice writing and or listen to yourself talk and see if you're speaking grammatically correct like when I say more better or more darker what happens when you're bilingual or even trilingual you speak more than one language if you're a polyglot polyglot those things happen because you kind of mix everything together in your head and then when I talk in English I think both in English and Spanish and I know some French so then when I'm I'm trying to say something in English I kind of say it in Spanish and when I say something in Spanish I'm trying to say it in English and it's difficult sometimes and here in Miami South Florida it's even a little bit harder I think I think every region has their I'm going off in a tangent here but just talking with my friends um, and here and when you're I mean every city every region has their accent like New York has their accent Boston and you know Texas everybody has their accent here in the United States every region but and um, the one in Miami is if you're if you're Hispanic you talk in Spanglish like it's normal for us to talk in Spanglish so I could have a conversation with my friends co-workers clients or whatever and then we talk English Spanish interchangeably without a problem when I speak to a non-english speaker or non-spanish speaker sometimes i i get in a jam because i'm trying to talk in both languages i don't know if that happens to you if you're bilingual let me know in the comments below if that happens to you too okay i'm trying to diffuse here the edges i don't like to have like really lines or stark differences so i'm trying to blend everything out i'll get a fluffy brush later and blend everything out to go um i'll blend everything out it's really nice really soft you know it reminds me of a little bit to the Surat eyeshadows but I think Surat at least the ones that I've tried are a little bit even less pigmented they're more softer they're softer than my beauty and then these shadows at least these are really really pretty really really soft I'm liking it for work because it gives me like some depth but it's not like really out there I'm gonna flip the brush and go in with that pink because you know the shimmer I'm gonna try to shimmer with a finger with a brush and then I'll go with my finger so I'm gonna apply here and then try to blend them together in the middle but I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna put some of that shimmer it's just to add a little bit of base it's a base get the same brush and pick up some of that pink shimmer and apply here on the top this is so pretty like so subtle the shimmer so soft and subtle and the, the bottom shade is like pinkish, but the top is more to the peachy side, which is great because I don't like pink that much. And it does apply with a brush, but I'm going to go with my finger because I need to speed it up. <laughs> I have stuff to do. I got to go to work. I can't be sitting here all day. I wish I wish I could be sitting here all day just trying different things. All right, this is so pretty. I mean, I've said that 500 times, but it, you, what do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Like it's it has pigment, but you know, it's not all up in your face. I would love a little bit more shimmer to be honest, but you know what I'm gonna do? I look mischievous. I'm gonna get some of that highlighter and apply it because I like shim shimmery. I'm gonna pick up a tiny brush, this one from Refer number 13. Get some of that first. I'm gonna start with that brown that I used at the beginning and I apply it all the way and then go back with the matte the darker matte the brown one and then apply that but really softly not that I expect it to be dark but just a little bit like that mm. I'm glad I picked this palette up it is so pretty I'm going to get a really tiny, if I could find a clean one, a really tiny brush for the inner corner. Um, I don't have a clean brush. I had to clean my brushes this weekend, like for for real, like for, sh for real. I'm running out of clean brushes. Okay, this one from Refer again. Refer number three. I'm going to get some of this of the highlight, which I didn't swatch. So let me swatch now. Ooh. It's not like super, oh yeah, it is actually, ooh, super nice. It's super, it's really nice. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be that 
that's strong. I'm gonna get some and put it here in the inner corner. Ooh. It is quite pigmented, so I'm gonna go really light. I'm gonna get some and put it in the back of my hand and then pick up with my Sonia G Face Pro. Jumbo base, I always say it wrong. Oh, that's pretty. What if I go straight with a brush? It's so like emollient, like it really melts in. I love that. And it is towards the pink side. I'm more lean towards peachy blushes. But this works and it works really well with a blush, with uh, shadows. Mm, it's really pretty. Now, now I'm going to pick up my refer. I'm excited. Refer number 20. Oh, yeah. Here in the brow bone, too. Oh, that is nice. It's really pretty. Really pretty highlight. Uh, for mascara from Mob Beauty, because it is a set, it comes with a mascara and a lipstick. I haven't showed you the mascara yet. So it's refillable. Uh, let me show you the wand. It's like a... I think it's... It doesn't seem like it's plastic. Oh wow. Just a few, a few brushes. And it gives me a beautiful lift. I just remember the word a few strokes. You don't need a lot in it, but it does a lot. Oh, very nice. You guys see that? It's pretty pretty. And um, for lipstick, it came out, the set comes with one. And I'm not sure of the name because I threw away the box, but well, it goes well with the set. It's a pretty, nice watch it. It's a pretty, um, like a pink. Oh no, it's like a, yeah, it is, it is like peachy. Like a balm. It's really pretty. It smells like vanilla, which is nice, like buttercream. Actually, do I have um? I don't know if I need a pencil, but I do want to try this pencil from Mario. I have a few stuff from by Mario, like two sets of lipstick and and pencil that I haven't tried, but I want to try this one. Just might as well. The Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil in the shade Hue. It's like a brownish. Let's see how it works with this color, with this lipstick. But since it's a bomb, I have a feeling that it might sip it into my fine lines. So I want to add a pencil, just in case. Really nice. I like these that you get to sharpen them. And it works fine, it's not drying. This color is more like a soft, like a nude. Really pretty. And it's not really a bomb, it's just a very, it's a... Um, a sheer lipstick but it's not that sheer when I put it on maybe it's because it's close to my skin color oh that is really pretty oh I love it I love this color it reminds me a little bit of the Natasha Denona one like that texture oh how nice I, I love this look it's so pretty what do you guys think let me know in the comments if you like this look and I'm going to be checking in later. I don't know what the day's going to bring me, but I, whatever comes along, I will share with you guys. I uh, got to go to work and I'm liking this um, look. I don't know if this is going to mess it up, but I do want to try this setting spray that came in my Ipsy or Proxy Charm. This is from Set to Last from Dear Midnight. The bottle is so pretty. The packaging is so pretty. I, wanna, I like the, the spritzer. I think that's what it's called. I liked it, so I think it's going to be nice. Okay, let's see what happens. Mm. I feel so refreshing. I know it's cold in some places, but here it's still in the 80s. Well, this morning was a little bit cooler. Okay, didn't mess up my, my makeup so far. 
let's see if it works and for perfume today i already brushed my hair for perfume today um i'm gonna use my valentino one i've used it a lot lately but i really like it i really like it my valentino what's the name i think it's just called valentino it's such a nice perfume for like the daytime it's really nice okay i think i am done i'm gonna pop in some earrings and i'm gonna get going to work and i'll see you guys later on bye hi i'm back it is about 7 16 so i had this makeup on for about nine hours i've had this makeup on for nine hours um and i am tired but the makeup is still pretty pretty good like the blush is pretty nice like you still you still see it and the highlight and the shadow um it's like a little bit run down here in the middle but otherwise like the mascara my lashes are still good there's no transfer or maybe a little bit there's a little bit of transfer here but like i've said before i do i do touch my face a lot like I, i'm doing this a lot when i'm in the, in the computer and sometimes I just rub my eyes and I had a little bit of a headache so I was going like a lot today like that and touching my my forehead so um overall I think it's pretty pretty good it's pretty pretty nice I'm looking at my my side mirror here to see if I see anything in the foundation um it's still also pretty good see there's no weirdness around my nose so I'm very happy with today's makeup i wanted to show you before to end this vlog i'm going to show you some things that i got for purchases that i made i got a pr box something in pr and um, something for the giveaway it's a lipstick from olivia palermo they were nice enough to help me with this i collab with me um they i was able to buy them in a discounted price so i'm really really happy that they collab with me collaborated with me oh, i'm trying to find it because I already have that shade and I love it so much that I wanted to get it with you guys. The Lydia Palmer lipsticks are really, really pretty. And this is my my uh, my copy, but it's the same lipstick and it's in the shade Santa Fe. And I'm going to show you the shade. I wanted to pick like a neutral color. I wanted something more neutral and something that will go well with the quad the tom ford quad that i picked up so this color i think you guys would love it whoever wins it is 12 giveaways so there's 12 chances of you winning let me swatch it here so i could show you it's really really pretty i don't have any lipstick on now so i'm gonna put it on to show you guys how creamy they are it's like a slight peachiness Hmm, feels so good goes well with this makeup too so that's the color that I'm going to be giving away. So now I want to show you a couple of things that I got. Uh, I got a subscription box. My quarterly subscription box from Margot Elena. My favorite subscription box of all time. Like of all the ones I've had. I used to have a lot of subscription boxes. I've, had, I've said this before. I used to have a lot of subscription boxes. But I narrowed it down to like three or four. And I got. Oh I got two PR. I forgot this one. From Mary Beauty. Something that they wanted to send me. So I think I'm going to do the two PR first. And then I'll show you the subscription box. I love Margot Elena. She always comes with perfumes and creams and body washes. I just love it. Let me open this bags first. So the first thing I got, I want to show you, is from Fleur and Bean. Got the Ice Baby Anti-Aging Eye Cream in a Ipsy or a uh, Boxy Charm. And I liked it a lot. And then they, they um, sent me a message asking me if I wanted to try their One, one Lip Wonder Eye Cream. And I said, yeah, of course. I have it right here in my vanity so I could just put it on at night. It's really nice. I'm liking it and I like the packaging. Really pretty. And asked me if I wanted to try something else. And I go, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. So it says, hello, Yanelis. Our discovery set is our first ever collection of deluxe minis. And it's perfect for gifting. It includes five of our best selling clean skincare products. 100% of the proceeds benefit our charity partner, Days for Girls. Enjoy. Love, the Fleur and B team. Something for, oh, some of, some of the foozles. This is a really cute set. It's really nice. Like, really cute. Like, perfect for a gift. It's really pretty. It's like a 
plum purple. It comes with the creme de la cream brightening moisturizer, the nectar of the sea vitamin C serum, just do it hydrating serum, H2O yeah hydrating moisturizer, and the eyes eyes baby anti-aging cream, which I already have. So I am gonna put that aside and probably get away. This is so pretty. Let me open this up. And there's a code, use code glow up for 20% off full size products. 20% with code glow up I'm gonna put that as well in the, in the description oh look how cute they're all meanies so then the eye cream yeah the eye cream is a meanie so I'm just gonna keep it because there's no point if it would have been the same one that I I would have given away but this is so cute oh no it's this one actually it's even smaller <laughs> it's even tinier it's so pretty I love the packaging it's like glass and then the top is like that a nice pearlesque pink. Ooh, I love this. I'm gonna take this for my next vacation because I love to travel with minis. And it's great because I'm gonna be in a cold place. So it has a moisturizer, two moisturizers, a high, a serum, two serums, and eye cream. Thank you so much, Fleur and B. It looks lovely. The product I tried from you guys is amazing, so I'm very happy that you sent me this. Thank you very, very much. The next thing that I got was is from Mary Beauty. They came out with a like a set. I think it's called a Fet Edition or something like that. I'm going to open it, and they asked me if I wanted to try it, and I go yes, of course. I don't recall if. They're repeats of things that I already have because I have a, a, a few other items. So let's see what let's see what it brings. So this is what it is. It's a gift. It's like um, it's perfect for a gift. It's called La Fête Edition. Edition La Fête, the party edition. I think Fête is called, it's party in French, right? I love this color. Love it. My everyday bag is this color. I love it. All right, let's open this up. It says it's um. A limited edition set of essentials for the holiday parties you're looking forward to and the ones you're not. Yeah, all these products are amazing. I have tried the serum, the mascara. I don't have this shade in lipstick and I'm not sure if I have this highlighter and this shade. I'll check in my drawers as in my collection. And the lash product. This is a beautiful, beautiful gift. If you're looking for a gift for that beauty lover, I do recommend Mary. It's a beautiful amazing brand and their products look really really pretty i want to put the link of this gift set in the description box and if i have i find any discount codes or anything i would add that as well really really nice lovely so now let's go into the description the subscription box i was gonna say description box in the subscription box margot elena this must be the winter box it says she has arrived this is an amazing amazing uh, subscription box i don't have an affiliate link for this subscription so i share it to you because i sincerely love it wholeheartedly i don't get anything from it i just share it because i do love it the the products are amazing i always come with a blend of candle and perfume and body cream and body wash just a bunch of a little bit of everything so the theme is winter glow. They also come with gift cards, uh, like greeting cards. I mean, for uh, that I used when I I want to give a gift to a friend. I use their cards. So it says here, see you next year. Share your favorites for a chance to be featured. Oh, okay. This is the card that um, every quarter, every box comes with a card with some information about the products and the total retail value. So it's time to shine among the flurry of exuberant evenings and joyful celebrations the holiday season brings. It's important to find quiet moments of comfort. To help refresh our spirits, we gather a few of our favorite Margot and our treasures. Perfect to give and even better to keep. Each delight is designed to spread love, cheer, and self-care this season. And it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items for a total retail value of $202.50. And it's a the subscription box if my memory serves me right i believe it's 59.99 plus shipping so it's like 60 something bucks which is not a cheap subscription box but i think it's still worth because it is 202 dollars and 50 cents retail value and i'm telling you that every quarter like the boxes are amazing there's been very 
small instances I could count it with one hand, one hand the small instances where there's products that I don't like not because they're bad but because maybe they're scent like vanilla or a scent that's not something that I'm attracted to but her products are all amazing so let's open this baby I'm gonna stop talking and just show you guys and everything comes so beautifully wrapped when I open it this is what it looks like inside I'm gonna put it back here First thing I see is a duffel bag. This is not included in the... Where did I put the card? Uh, the bag is not part of the six items, is it? Oh, it is. A Beauty Within tote bag. That's cute. And it comes with a little card that you could dedicate it to somebody. Beauty Within. All right, let's see. What is this? I am fearless. Infinite She Fearless. A wild geranium and rosewood confidence and strength ultra lush hand cream. This one is $22. So the brand, the subscription box is Margot Elena, but they have different brands that are owned, you know, by the same company. But it's like Tokyo Milk, Lolia, and this is another one, Infinite She. So it's like a coffin box. It has a top and then it has like the pointy on the other end, so you... Pop it. I think I'm gonna like it because it has rosewood and geranium. Ooh, nice cream. It melts right in. Ooh, it's really soft, really subtle. It smells fresh. It's not super, it's not pungent. And it just smells right in. Let me see if it tells me exactly if it has any citrus. I don't think it does, but no, just a bunch of good stuff. Shea butter, kernel oil, macadamia seed oil, mango seed butter. Ooh, nice. Apricot oil, aloe. Aloe juice, aloe barban barbandensis leaf juice. Oh, it smells really good. Like, it's really fresh and light. I like it. Since I have it in my hand, the greeting card says 2023 Happy New Year. And it says Infinite She. So there's a couple of greeting cards. I'm going to pass this on because I don't celebrate the New Year. All right, so this is a hand sanitizer hand in lemon blossom. I've gotten this before. It's really, really good. Um, and I went back and bought a few more separate from the subscription box this is $14 retail value I think I have it at work actually the one that I purchased so I know I'm gonna, I love this because I've had it before it's a hand sanitizer but it's not it doesn't smell a lot like alcohol and has a citrusy scent it's really really nice it's really nice on the hands too it is not like it doesn't dry up your hands love it from Tokyo soy wax candle I told you they always come with a candle and it is a uh, soy wax which is not as toxic or not toxic this one is the hand cream I didn't say the the, the retail value is $22 and if I did I forgot the candle is oh I smell it already the clips candle $20 I had never received this this candle this is the packaging oh it smells so good oh wow it's like masculine I love masculine scented candles because Scents like uh, spice and chocolate and candle and, and pumpkin and cinnamon and apple, but no, no, they give me migraines. Like food smells, but the one that I smell like masculine, like like I would like my husband to smell like. Oh, this one is masculine. It has some citrus to it. Oh, it's amazing. It comes in a tin box. Ooh, what is this? Oh, the greeting cards um, were sixteen dollars and fifty cents. That's a little bit a little bit overpriced. The Tokyo Milk Pure Deck and Sea Salt in Golden Hour. I don't have a bathtub, so I can't really use it. But sometimes I put it, like when I do my pedicure at home, sometimes I put some in the water and it's so good. This one is $18. It's reasonable. And the can is so pretty. When I'm done with it, I'm going to keep the can because it's just really pretty like, to put in my pins or something. Oh, it smells so good. This one is different than the candle. It's not masculine. It's very fresh. It's floral. I smell something very familiar, but I can't put my hand on it. Champagne and citrus zest. That's it's described as that. So it comes like in um in a little bag, but the tin can the the can is really really cute. All right, we got two more items. This fit is gonna be this vlog today is gonna be super long. Every box comes with a perfume, and they're so good. This is in love oil de parfum from Lolia, and the Retail value is $68. Wow, how pretty. So it's how pretty this this bottle is. Okay, it might be pretty, but let's see what it smells like. Classic petal. 
says classic pedal, but then on the card it says in love. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's see. Oh my goodness. It's so delicious. I wish you guys were here to smell this. At first, there's some like citrus. I just cry perfumes on how they make me feel. So it makes me feel like I'm in a in a field of sunflowers and and just ro flowers because it doesn't smell like roses, but like just I'm out there and I'm just soaking up the sun. Very fresh, very bright, and there's something so familiar, and I can't I can't really tell you what it is because I can't see what it's supposed to smell like. They don't tell you here, but it's so so good, like very fresh. Something I will wear not in the winter, more like in the summer spring like i said like i like when i go to the beach it doesn't smell like beach but it's very very sun sunny and bright and 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 beautiful and fresh lovely and one more thing this must be the what's left the wish we need dusting powder that's what's left in the card the their packaging the way they package everything how they wrap everything it's just so pretty and not like extravagant super luxurious just very pretty this is a Wish Mini dusting powder. Look at that packaging. I love bees. They use bees a lot in their packaging. So, so pretty. Sugared pastel dusting powder. Oh, look how cute. Oh, how pretty. The powder, the puff. Oh, it smells delicious. It's like very, a very pampering subscription box. Oh God, I wish you guys were here. It's powdery and it's not, it's fresh, but not like the perfume. It's more like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It just makes me, it, this is something that I don't wear. Like again, um, I could, I describe perfumes best as how they make me feel and how I will use them because I'm not very good at describing smells. But this powder for me is like, um, this is TMI, but let's say it's one of those, what is it that Michelle Wong calls it? Like a third, third date kind of perfume. It's a third date kind of scent. It's something very, it's sexy, but not intoxicating. It's something you would have in your vanity in your, and then you would just powder it in certain areas for those special occasions. Like it makes me feel very sexy, very, I had to not describe, describe it. It is so, so nice. Oh, I'm so happy I got this, um subscription box and it's a powder like for the I'm not, i would wear it like around my neck my decolletage area you know my shoulders like oh it's so so good i'm in love like this the perfume and the candle are the my favorite things because i know i'll, I'll be able to use them more and the soak is good but i won't be able to use it in a bathtub because i don't have a bathtub so i would probably use it in my feet for my pedicure but everything else was really nice i think it's definitely worth even let's take out the greeting cards and the tote bag let's take those out because i think the tote bag is what 22 dollars i think it's you know not bad but i wouldn't pay 22 dollars for it let's take those out it's still worth it i love the subscription box again i don't have an affiliate link i don't get commissions from it i don't get anything from it in exchange i share them with you because i honestly wholeheartedly love the subscription box it's my favorite it's always been my favorite love it love it love it oh everything smells delicious all right so this video is gonna be so so long it's gonna be like 40 minutes i'm gonna try to narrow it down the best i can because it is a long video i'm just gonna end it right here i'm gonna clean up the area and i'm gonna go and take this all out take a shower go to bed because i have to edit tomorrow's vlog and yeah it just everything came out really really pretty and it's like subtle you know soft it's not like super pigmented out there. It's just really soft and perfect for work. I wish I could stay longer, but then um, this video is going to be too long for you guys. So I am going to end it up here, clean up the area, get ready for bed, and get ready for tomorrow for another vlog. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and that you would join me again for tomorrow's vlog. So thank you guys for being here with me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!